with some updated information here coming from scientists connected to CERN. They're saying that the world's largest proton collider or particle collider, the LHC Large Hadron Collider, has now produced even more precise details about this Higgs boson particle or the so-called God particle, which they give it that name because it's responsible for giving other elementary particles, any other particles around it. It will feed it mass, will give it mass and give it life, so to speak. That's why they call it the God particle, give it energy. But there's also a process to this. They now know how it is generated, how it decays, how it interacts with these other particles. And they get a lot more finely tuned information here on exactly what's going down. And to me, when they put out this information, this is information they've known for quite some time. This is part of the scheduled information that they drop on the masses pertaining to this. And I do believe that CERN is of a way, way, way greater concern um, what this thing could do, I believe, is huge. And it's it's things that they're not just going to come out and tell the public uh, because it would change everything. And I'm not so sure that if there ever was a big event involving CERN, un unless it was catastrophic, that they would ever make it public. Because all the things that go along with it in, in the science of all this. Now, what is interesting is all the people theorize, is this a Stargate of some sort? And some people would say, oh, that's crazy. That's just crazy talk. Others people say, not so fast. And then others point out, and this is a good point, which is odd, that several, and I mean several, of these movies that have come out throughout the the past few years shows movies commercials that deal with time travel or anything like that wormholes have a device similar to CERN that makes it possible that's a fact and what I find even crazier is when you go back and look at some of the most recent and even one specifically states that they were standing inside the world's largest proton collider that was it I think she went on to say that they jacked the thing up higher than they had ever done, like they're doing now, and a window opened, and that was it. And there were all these other hints and references and all these other movies that pointed to CERN being the machine. If there's any machine on this planet that's capable of doing such a thing, or ever will, it's this. Anyhow, I'll leave a link lot more info here. It's been Dabu 7.